Good morning, everyone. We are just outside of McBride, BC, British Columbia this morning. We got a beauty spot on the side of this river last night. We rolled in here. This is just a BC Forest Service, I think, camping area. So, beauty spot to camp. We have snow-capped mountains up there. I don't know if you can see them, but they're kind of around us here. And we're headed up through Jasper this morning for the day, oh, what is it? David Thompson Highway. It's really nice, but yeah, we're gonna go up through Jasper, a little bit south, and then out towards Rocky Mountain House. And we'll probably camp out somewhere around there. Looks like there's some nice spots and maybe some snow in the forecast today on our travels. We'll see what we find. We're not really too concerned about snow, but it's gonna make a mess of the rig, baby. But you'll see what we get to. We haven't had sunshine since we left Kamloops, even maybe a little before we left Kamloops, probably been four days or five days since you really had any sun. We've only been getting maybe 8% of our battery bank charged per day. So we've been depleting. We're down to about 50% now. So maybe we'll get some sunshine on the other side of the mountains. Hopefully we do, fingers crossed. Let's go. So I have a little remedy for our lack of sunshine. We are now charging, even though it's not sunny, at, well, we got 436 watts going in. Well, there's probably some coming out too, so probably a little more than that. We're uh, powering things up with our truck inverter. We got 623 watts coming out of the little inverter mounted in the truck. I took my extension cord and did a little bit of backyard here. I do have to run a permanent cord, but this will be a good test to see how the AC charging works. So I just ran my cord out of the uh, regular power thing and up the side here and slammed the door on it and plugged it into the inverter. So. That should stay. Maybe the plug could wiggle loose. We'll keep an eye on it every once in a while, but we're driving a couple hours today, I think. So I should be able to get 25% battery or so in that time. So um, that'll set us up for using Starlink because I don't think we have cell service in the site we're gonna stay at tomorrow either. If we stay in the Nordeg area, maybe there is, but there wasn't here. So we used Starlink last night to catch up on our favorite YouTube channels. towards Jasper and we stopped at the viewpoint for Mount Robson. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit snowy so the visibility is not great but you can almost see the top. You don't see them at the uh, top of Mount Robson too often. It's usually in clouds you're lucky if you get to see the tip top of it. On we go. It's only a dream Nothing is really what it seems anyway Hey there. Hello. This is Jasper today. Are we allowed? I don't no. know. Oh, okay. How long you stay? We're just kind of going through to that David Thompson Highway out to uh, uh, Rocky Mountain. $22. $22. So it's any sort of restrictions on what we can and can't do? Yeah, as far as visiting goes, we have some things that are open, some things aren't. Okay. So I don't know about the ice fields, if they're still open. They were a few days ago. 
Okay. Uh, at Damascus Falls, Sanwapka Falls are places you can stop at along the way. Okay. There's other rest areas that are open. Close to Jasper, the road to Moline Lake is open all the way there. Oh. Also, Pyramid Lake, Lake Annette, Lake, e Lake Eden, you can visit those. Oh. Uh, there's quite a few things you can do. Okay. But some are actually still closed. Okay. Okay. And the town site is uh, the pretty town limited. Site is open, oh, so it if is. You need fuel, supplies, anything like that, you're more than welcome to stop. Okay. We don't have all services, we have some of them. Okay. Perfect. Wow, you should burn there. Oh my gosh. buildings are still standing in there look at that they must have just watered them down because they're right in the middle of the fire everything around it's burnt they must have been on the ball on july 24th 2024 a large wildfire entered jasper destroying 30 percent of the town a significant portion of jasper national park including campgrounds and outlying commercial accommodations were also damaged or destroyed. The wildfire is the largest recorded in Jasper National Park in the last 100 years, burning approximately 96,000 acres. Residents began re-entering the area on July 16th, and the town site reopened to visitors on September the 6th, but the National Park remained closed until October the 10th. When visiting the park, please be mindful that many areas within the park are still closed. Check the Jasper National Park website for up-to-date information before your trip. Links are provided in the description. A little side stop at Athabasca Falls. Actually, there is still some trees here. Over there, not so good. Look at that. Potholes. My heart is heavy. It's nice to see these things, but driving through Jasper and seeing everything so burnt and all the forest is gone, it's a tough one. 
So that was our quick tour at Athabasca Falls. Uh, we are just heading up the Glacier Parkway. We think we may do some Wapta Falls next, um, and then the Glacier Overlook if it is open. Um, like I said, it's, it is heavy and hard to see all of the area so destroyed and all the animals displaced and the people that lost their homes and their businesses in Jasper. A third of the town site was lost. But with that being said, it is still open. You can go there. You can take in these attractions. Yes, it's hard to see the forest fires, um, the damage from the forest fires everywhere. It, it is hard on the heart, but Jasper needs you to visit. They need your support. Hashtag your pictures, Jasper Strong. And get out there, go visit Jasper, support them, help them rebuild. It's still beautiful, like you saw at Athabasca Falls. And fingers crossed, Sun Wapta is still as pretty as ever, and we can get and have a peek at that glacier. And we might get into some snow yet. There was like yes. a little bit of flakes when we were uh, like walking it. there. So it is so cold outside right now. Yeah, it's I don't know what minus it is. a couple degrees minus anyway. Minus three or something yeah. like that. So yeah. So let's continue on this journey and see what we see. Sunwapta Falls. Sunwapta Shoot Sunwapta. <laughs> Love the falls. I think we need to go up there so we can get a good view of the bottom part and the top part because they have railings oh. up there where you can see it all. Work our way up the root ladder. Oh, big stairs. <laughs> That's pretty. to the Columbia Ice Fields. So when I was a little girl, the uh, glacier actually came almost to the road. Like, it was crazy. Last time I was here was 26, 27 years ago. And yeah, you just parked in a parking lot right beside the road and walked onto the glacier. Yeah, it wasn't very far. The glacier. But now you gotta take a tour 
to get you way back to the glacier. Yeah, I don't think you can even walk there anymore. No, you can't. It's like uh, way the heck. You gotta go on one of those big buses. Oh, look at all the snow. I've never driven this truck in the snow before. Oh. This looks closed. Um, so yeah, so. Oh no, it's not. That's where you take the buses. Wow. And it takes you out there. Wow, it's like. And trust me, there is a you glacier. You can't even see it, there. it's so far out. It was yeah. just right there. It used to be right there. Yeah. Wow. But, I gotta take a bus there. I think you have to take a bus to the special bus that takes you out there. This building, I don't think, was here, was it? I don't know. I don't remember that building being here. There was like nothing here but a big parking lot. It was just a big parking lot. Like when I was yeah. a little girl, this was all just a great big, huge parking yeah, lot. I think that was the parking lot and where that building is. You could walk across yeah. and be right at the glacier and we'd throw snowballs at each other and <laughs> it was right there. But that's how she goes. We've now turned off the Icefield Parkway, Highway 93 from Jasper to Banff, and we are on Highway 11, which is the David Thompson Highway, headed towards Rocky Mountain House, Alberta.